Hello everyone, in this video I will show you guys how to install three motion sensor switch on a four-way circuit. One here, one here, and one here. There's something I want to show you, so keep this in mind. This is the neutral side, and this is the ground. There's continuity. In this video, I will be using a single or multi-location motion center switch. The cheaper alternative would be using a single pole motion sensor switch. The brand of the switch is Lutron, but there are many other brands available that you can use. The setup will be the same or very similar. Another name for this switch is called a three-way motion sensor switch. The difference between a single pole switch and this one here we have is an extra blue wire, which is not needed. So single pole would be the cheaper option. Originally this white wire here, it had a removable green sleeve. I took it off. The manufacturer has their own electrical code. They use the same wire for two purposes, for neutral and ground. This blue wire here, we won't be using. It's a traveler wire. Here we have is a ground wire. We won't be using, it's useless because plastic does not conduct electricity. This black wire here, we will be connecting it to a power source. And this black wire here, we will be connecting it to a light fixture. It's also called the switch leg. There's many ways of doing this, but I will try to keep this plain and simple. Before you begin, make sure you turn off the breaker to your lighting circuit and double check it's off. Right here, I made a simple four-way circuit where you can see all on one board. For your three electrical box, you want to separate all the wires, but you can leave the grounds and the neutrals still spliced together. Since we're treating this switch as a single pole switch, if we connect the power side to this wire or this wire, it will work the same. It does not matter, but to keep things simple on three of our switches, we will connect the power side to the top wire. If you have more than one light fixture on the circuit, we will need to identify which 14-2 wire carries the power source. Carefully turn on the breaker, and next we will need a voltmeter. Place one lead on a black wire and a R lead on a copper wire to see if there's any potential difference. We are looking for a voltage of near 120. So if that wire does not have it, let's try another 14-2 wire. There we have it. Let's place the power side. This allows the power to be carried over to all the switches from here to the next and to the next. So what I've done is splice all the black wires together from here, from this 14.3 black wire to the next 14.3 black wire, splice together down to this 14.3 black wire. Now we have power source from here, connected to here, and then connected to here. We have power source going to all three switches now. Now next, let's connect all the neutral wires together. Now we can splice the remaining wires in each area. This black wire here is what delivers power to the light. Now we have all the red wires spliced together that can carry the power from the switch down to the next and to the light. What I have shown you here, I've connected this system in a parallel circuit. Now we can turn on the breaker on and test the circuit. Right now the light is on. In order for this light to be off, all three switches must be off or timed out to be off. If one is on, it will stay on.